Hello friends, I am here with my Merge Stack project which is Grievance Portal. In this portal, what you can do is you can file your grievances against any of the ministry, department or you can customize this project according to your need. So let's start. So you can see the main screen of my project. Yeah, that's not good because I have not worked upon the front end till now. I am here to represent the back end complexity. So let's start. What is there? Uh, so you can see uh, from this tab, you can file a grievance against any of the department. I have customized it as department, or you can customize it as per your need. And you can write your uh, grievance here. You can write your name, email, phone number, and about. Coming to the about page, you cannot uh, see it because it, we have not logged in till now. Okay. So this is the registered credential. I'll log in. Okay. After logging in, you can see the login is successful. Now, now you can see the change. It is being shown that Pooja Agarwal. Earlier it was showing that welcome back and login. So after logging in, it's showing this. So here you can file the grievance. Now you will notice some change. Like uh, while previously when you were trying to log in, you had to manually fill all this. And here what is happening is uh, all of the details are uh, automatically filled. Suppose I file a complaint against education, right? Rural area, suppose what I am writing, and I'll submit my grievance. So, yeah, my grievance has been submitted. I'll see, yeah, grievance file successfully, right? So, what will happen now? I'll try to see my profile, and what is being shown in my profile is uh, my personal details. Along with it, what I can see the recently filed uh, grievance. Look, here you can see the date of filing. And along with it, there is department. Uh, this is what I file and status has been not seen. Like the admin or the concerned authority has still not seen my uh, my complaint and feedback is not there. Okay, so let's see one new feature of the project. I'll log out and then now we'll log in as admin. Uh, I have not worked upon the admin thing till now in a better way. But however, uh, some of the work has been done in the admin panel also. And admin panel is also automatically developed. Uh, so I have developed this part at my own so you can see the list of grievances here right so which grievance we filed recently was against the education yeah that this one education is not provided in rural areas first of all I'll show you one more uh, benefit of this project where what will you see is uh, this is my registered mail id Pooja Agarwal that I logged in here and uh, you surprise what you will find here is the grievance file a uh, automated mail the stating that I have filed the grievance so isn't it cool that the mail uh, the system is being automated just like the government uh, complaint id complaint filing systems so this is what so suppose now I am an admin right what I'll do, I'll try to update this one. So I'll what I'll do then I'll copy this. You will think that the number is very long, but the number is not automatically generated by MongoDB. So now, what? Look, uh, all of the data of the uh, um, feedback is here. And what I will do now, I will just I'll take the status. I'll put it as in process. Okay, we will. look into it okay so i'll update it now what will happen okay grievance has been updated so we'll go back i'll try to log out i'll try to log out as an admin and then i'll try to log in again i'll try to log in again so not via this id okay so by this id i'll log in and what i will found like you can see that the update is there Whenever I go there, you will see the update is here. Yeah. I put in, I kept there in process. So the status has been updated to in process and the feedback is there. Not only this, an update has been, uh, the, and ma a mail is all again generated. And this is done by, by using send grid. So the mail is again generated and this is what it is. And if you want to get one, um, some more information about the code, I can show, show you. So what? So what is uh, this so this is uh, to prove the authenticity of the project the project is mine you can see this is my registered mail account with mongodb and which has been registered by my student account provided by my uh, university and this is the collection this is the collection of the uh, database 
whatever the data i have stored so this is the these are the data of the users for signing in what you can see this is uh, uh this is my name or you can see the, the data is in the form of documents because that is in the form of documents only in mongodb uh, the tabular data is not stored right so this is my uh, document you can see uh, my object id my name oh, so you will see say that the password is password is in the form of bcrypt hash bcrypt hash is basically a secure uh, uh, algorithm that uh, that makes the that makes the uh, data hash and this data uh, is uh, takes in average uh, it takes 126 years for a normal hacker to hack the bcrypt hash algorithm and this is the phone number this is the address and these are the grievances that has been filed just a second no no why are not being viewed no issues so we can see them via this one so this is the user data the data of the users who have filed the complaints is being loaded i don't know what is the issue we will try to browse from these collections only okay mm, okay so this is my friends account suppose these are the grievances and these are the tokens token is being generated whenever a grievance is filed whenever you log in a token is generated because the token is being used for the verification purpose right we use the token tokens in in this thing Uh, months time and uh, token is basically uh, whenever you log in you see the cookies thing so this is basically like cookies or it looks the so the in the uh, document of pooja agarwal uh, he her uh, her all the complaints are being stored in the form of uh, document first complaint second complaint and third complaint so what is this token token is basically used for verification purpose that uh, pooja agarwal is only signing in and these are the tokens so basically you can say that i have logged in eight times from the same email id and this is the token that was generated so that's all this is all my about my project